and King Tide is, is the worst I've ever seen it in 58 years. This is the worst I've ever seen the water. It's the highest it's ever come here and, and in this station. A Fort Lauderdale business owner says these higher than normal king tides are like nothing he has ever seen and the windy weather we saw today will likely make it worse. Another high tide is expected to push in later tonight. CBS 4 Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer joins us and to explain why the high tides are so bad this year. Well typically when we get into these what they call spring tides because the tide springs up or in this case king tides it's uh, it's already high but we've got two factors that are kind of making it even higher. Here's the wind which has been blowing. It was as you mentioned, and it's blowing out of the northeast. And why that's significant is because you would think, well, an east wind would push the water up, but in fact, it's the northeast wind that pushes the water up against the coast, causing it to kind of pile up there. We call this Ekman transport. I won't go into the science behind it, but just think of this. If there's a northeast wind, then the water, the surface of the water is pushed to the west towards the coast. And of course, it doesn't have any place to go, so it piles up and that kind of helps elevate the highest part of the high tides. Also, there's a lot of energy in the ocean from Lorenzo, that big, big hurricane affecting just about the entire North Atlantic. And much of that energy has piled up along the east coast of the U.S. as well. And as we go through the week, that is going to decrease. The winds are going to decrease and also the tidal alignment, uh, what's going on between the earth, moon and sun, that is also going to begin to decrease. So these high tides, these very, very high tides are going to slowly subside as we go through the rest of the week. The high tide cycle decreasing, Lorenzo is influencing, decreasing and the winds are going to settle down as well. So we're going to be back to normal probably in two days. And then the next tidal cycle is about four weeks away. Back to you.